Okay, welcome back everybody to the Dream Whisperer of Jesus, where we discuss and interpret prophetic dreams. We're coming to you from Canberra, the beautiful view of Parliament House, looking up Anzac Parade and towards the War Memorial and Mount Ainsley. Today I'm going to share a dream about Scotland and the United Kingdom very brief but interesting dream so uh, I'll share it and people can pray and make comments about it as much as you like okay so let's zoom out here so in the dream what I saw this was 10th of June 2022 so uh, almost a year ago um, before I begin I should note um, people will remember that in 2014 Scotland had an independence referendum and it got uncomfortably close for the British government but um, the no vote to independence it did uh, win in the end but it was quite a close vote but during that time I had no prophetic dreams about Scottish independence but this dream on 10th of June 2022 was quite interesting so in the dream I was like bird's eye view from heaven looking down at earth or looking at a map of the United Kingdom but in the dream I was really surprised I had the emotion of surprise that I in the dream I could clearly see that Scotland was an island um, completely separate from England and Wales and yeah it was in the dream I definitely knew that Scotland was an island so for me that's you know if someone I don't want to sound mean but if someone had a amateurish dream interpretation that I'd say there's going to be an earthquake and the Scotland is going to break away from the United Kingdom but no an island a Scottish island for me is a symbol that Scotland could potentially become an independent state in the future so that was really interesting um, and then the second part of the same dream I was, this is a really bad drawing, I, <laughs> I was standing on, on, on the border of England and Scotland and I could see this river that separated the two countries and Scotland was definitely an island separated from England. So for example, it's me dream mr dream whisperer there and i was standing on this river riverbank and the unusual interesting thing was this river was um really dark it was a really dark color so the water wasn't i've got a black pen here but the water was a really black dark color flowing and the other interesting thing was the current was extremely fast this was an unnaturally fast current there weren't any ripples on the surface of the water but I could see that the the current of the river was flowing very fast or unnaturally fast and I knew that if I tried to cross this river uh, it could actually kill me it was a very dangerous, extremely dangerous river to cross. So this is a symbol to me that if Scottish independence does happen in future, it will be extremely dangerous for England to try to reunify the country. And the fact that this river had an unnaturally fast flow, uh, it shows the difficulty of of crossing this river of of join rejoining the countries in future but it uh it also 
shows to me that it's a supernatural barrier. When, when God shows you something unusual or unnatural in a prophetic dream, it can often be a symbol of a, a spiritual force that is at work. So this river that was separating Scotland and England into two separate islands in the dream, it had an unnaturally fast flow that I saw. So that's the dream, so thank you everyone for listening. So, so that was a really interesting dream. At this moment in time, um, Scottish independence isn't going anywhere, but um, I'll be curious to see whether it does happen in future. One thing I should note is um, um, using other prophetic dreams I've received is what I've seen in other prophetic dreams is that the Russia-NATO proxy war it financially destroys the Western nations. So at the moment we're 15 months into the Russia-NATO proxy war and before the war started all the major Western economies were already were running structural deficits. So they're, they're running at debt even before the war started and now they're just throwing weapons and finance to keep the Ukraine government and the Ukraine war machine going. It's, it's a de facto NATO army. I, I hope most people would agree with that. Um, but yeah, it's, this war is just going to continually drain the Western nations in the years ahead. So 2022 the war started and by the year three three year mark 2025 that the western nations will have massive financial difficulties it'll be it'd be symbolically like chopping a leg off and by 2028 the western nations are finan completely financially destroyed by the war they've just it's like just an open wound with your financial blood running out. We, this war will bleed us dry, uh, but it will take us six years to totally destroy us. Unusually, Austra the good news for Australia is where I live, here in Canberra obviously, is that Australia is financially tied to China now, so by God's mercy and grace, the Hopefully Australia doesn't get destroyed like the other Western nations, but all the other Western nations get destroyed by the war financially. Um, before I sign off, I just, people who are returning to this channel will know, but new viewers will know I always talk about this, but um, when you're talking about the Russia-NATO proxy war, we're, we're dealing with a deep state which is just absolutely deceiving the Western world and its control of information and uh, the deep state is, consists of politicians, journalists and academics or experts working together to create this massive information warfare matrix where they just deceive Western nations about what is actually being fought over in Ukraine. So it's extremely sad but you know, if these if this war continues, then Western nations get destroyed, and then after that, you can understand how Scottish independence might happen. Because if you know, if the United Kingdom's financially destroyed, then there's absolutely no reason for the Scottish people to remain united with England, and they'll vote for independence. So. I'll be curious to see if this prophecy happens, whether Scotland will become independent from the United Kingdom, but it's, I think it's closely tied to what happens in Ukraine. So if the British government does get out of Ukraine, then it can save itself financially, and then that really weakens the prospect of this prophecy coming true but if the war continues if the 
British government just keeps throwing money away into Ukraine, just, just burning money, then yeah, the prospects of Scottish independence become stronger and stronger with the passage of time. So that would be a major moment in British history, 420 years of British unity destroyed by the NATO proxy war in Ukraine. Okay, thank you brothers and sisters in Christ for listening. Uh, God bless you. I'll be back soon. Bye-bye.